Ooh. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by RPG Hair. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. Now, before we add a little spice to our install together, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Oh, wait a minute, mm-mm. <laughs> my lips are ashy, I'm looking like a cracker. uh-uh. <clears throat> also, give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from RPG Hair. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This is going to be a cute look. I can already tell just by how these curls are looking. At least, at least I hope so. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a cute look based on how like chunky and clump these curls already are out the pack. Like they just look really good, y'all. And look how defined they are on the bottom. This is with no products and the hairline is given hairline. I'm, I'm ready for this one, y'all. I am ready for some color in my life. Okay, so let's cut this lace off the back and then put on my wig cap. Y'all see my hair? Girl has been using her products and taking her medicine, so you know, we, we getting there. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my PCOS update video. It's really appreciated. Even the ones that were telling me that my hair was coming out because I was wearing a ponytail. What? It's like the whole point of the video just kind of skipped over their head. You can't help the misinformed, okay? The ones who want to be right, who more than likely are loud and wrong. Yeah, you can't, you can't really help them. They really just want to be involved, so. Okay, <laughs> and see how she looking. The lace is definitely giving thin. The hairline is already pretty much, I don't gotta do anything with this hairline. It's already pre-plucked, y'all. It's already giving scalp. I'm just gonna have to style this wig up, that's it. Yeah. Now the roots, you can tell right now, the roots are straight. Okay, so you're not getting, you know, the curl to the root. It's definitely, like, that's really straight. So we're gonna see how that's gonna look once we put the product in it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty straight, but we gonna, we gonna figure it out though, okay? Ooh, that side part, that side part. I'm not gonna put my powder on. Y'all saw my last video, putting the powder on after um, you do the mousse will will still blend the lace in. Putting it on before and using the mousse that I do, um, the Nairobi mousse, it will just take it right off. That looks real good. Y'all see that? Is that my hairline? I think that's my hairline. That's how thin that lace is. Cause it's giving my hairline and theirs. You see, okay, cut there and cut there. Even though I'm not gluing this down, I'm still gonna cut it in threes because I'm gonna have more control on where I'm cutting. Before you ask me, that's why I do that. I cut some of that hairline off because I didn't need that thick of a widow's peak for me. Now the cap for this wig, I would definitely say is more Big Head Associate. Um, you can definitely see that it's pulling back on my sides here. But how I'm gonna style this one, I'm not really worried about it because I feel like it's gonna look pretty natural um, when I'm done. So. Let us, why did I take these off? I'm supposed to, godly. Okay, so I'm using my Nairobi mousse around my hairline. That's what we looking like. Okay, around the hairline. Three on each side. Rub that in, rub a dub dub. Smooth it in. Why is there hair in my face? Work it around like this. Okay, and then we're just gonna put on the elastic band. As always, all these products are linked in my storefront, so you can definitely check that out if you want to grab some for yourself. Okay, so I did not go in and wash this unit. Y'all know I'm finicky. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? And it does come with a slight chemical smell, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my dry shampoo to get rid of most of that before I spray her down with some water. Better already, thank you. And then I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle and I'm gonna get this hair detangled really quick. It's almost like I'm washing the wig on my head. That's what kind of what it feels like. Okay, the hair is really soft. Y'all saw that? How it kind of just immediately started, you know, working through the hair with a little bit of moisture. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was still coming out and I was like, hurry up. <laughs> brush it out, brush it out, way up. It's a cute little bush. Start from the ends and work our way up. The hair is definitely brushing through really nicely, so that's always a plus. All right, I do have a little bit of shedding. Let's get that out. Is that hair in my eye? Now we're gonna put the Nairobi mousse back on this joint. 
and clump our curls the way we want them to be. I guess it's time for me to buy some more of this too. I'm running out. Okay, clump the curls together. Okay, start at the bottom like this. Ooh. <laughs> Work it in there. Work your product in your curls, y'all. Work your product in your curls. Ooh, my wig is slipping back. <laughs> the heck was that? It looked like something just fell from my ceiling. I don't play them games. Mm -mm. Work my fingers through like this to clump it even more. There we go. Let me clip this to the side so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing. Clump these ones together. Make sure I get a lot of product on my ends. They're a little bit more frizzier than the rest of the hair. Very nice. Okay. Okay, let's do this side. Uh-oh. It may get messy. <laughs> work it in, work it in. Work it in, work it in. Bushy on the ends. We don't want that. We want it to be really defined. Pack that in there. There we go. Get my ends together. Keep on working, keep on working. Okay. I got a little bit more shedding. Not too much though, so still good, still good. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup and then we'll come back and we're gonna diffuse this hair as big as possible. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so, mm -mm. makeup is done. Now let's take this off. I think I need to put on my wig grip because I need to use, ooh, I need to use the combs on the side. So I'm gonna take this off really quick. Let's put it on, okay. So from the front to the back. Okay, put it back on, get that under there. And put my combs under here. I think, it might be too small to do actually. I may have to use bobby pins y'all because the combs are a little bit too far back. I don't like putting my combs on the side if it's you know that far back. So I'm gonna put the bobby pin behind the ear attached to the wig grip. I need one more, where are my bobby pins? They're in my face, there they are. <laughs> Make sure it's pulled forward and then bobby pin it behind the ear. Move the hairline around a little bit. Where's my contour brush? Blend this lace in right here. Y'all, that looks so good. Like I said, my hairline is peeking through, but it blends really well with how this lace is. I'm just doing a little bit of contour, not a lot. If you use too much contour under my studio lights, it'll look perfect, but outside it's gonna clock you. So be real light-handed with your contour products, um, depending on the color of your lace. This lace wasn't super ashy, so I didn't need a bunch of contour around my hairline. It's a little damp on the top here, but the rest of the hair is pretty, pretty dry. So I'm gonna diffuse some of this hair, give it a little bit more lift before I go in and pick it. Y'all, this is looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna take my pick and I'm gonna bring it right here from the root. Take my time because I don't want the I don't want to lose the the curls. I don't want to I don't want to lose the clumps. Very easy. This is probably the slowest I've ever picked a wig. <laughs> Initially, I said I wanted to get as big as possible, but I don't think I want to get it bigger than this. I think I want it to be kind of. I want the curls to kind of stay intact, you know what I'm saying? And it's definitely giving off like a bob look, so you know, I like that. The growth I've had with my curly wigs is just amazing. I used to try to do way too much with my curly wigs and they never came out how I needed them to come out. Hold on, this one is kind of too long. I don't know what's going on with this one, so I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, and then wrap her back around like that. Again, I don't wanna loosen up the curls. I want the curls to pretty much stay intact how they are. What y'all think? I thought I was gonna do a flip over. I mean, I could do a flip over. That hairline looks good. Okay, that lace right there is, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Where is it at? There we go. Blend that back in, okay. I think I'm gonna leave it for right now in the middle. Let me finish the rest of my makeup and stuff and then we'll see, we'll, we'll see.
Okay, y'all, so here is the final look. This is, <laughs> this is gorgeous, okay? It is so pretty. I'm definitely feeling the shorter curly bobs on me now that I know how to style it, you know, with the right products that will work for my curly wigs. I really like, I really like how this looks, y'all. And it does come with a clean hairline, okay? You can still see my lace over there because, you know, I ain't glued nothing down, okay? So don't, mm, we ain't worried about that, okay? This wig cap does come in a 22 and a half, which is their medium. Y'all know my head is real big, 23 inches on a bad day. So um, this is fitting more big head associated than big head friendly on me. But how I styled her, I ain't mad at it, okay? I can still make this work for my big old dome. So thank you. The ombre of this wig is gorgeous. The curl of this wig is gorgeous. I love how the curls just clump together real nicely. I love the price point for this wig, especially what you get with this unit. Y'all see this hairline, okay? A clean, pre-plugged hairline, curly ombre, 14 inch wig. Yeah, this looks good, okay? This looks good. Still not glued down. Let me go ahead and show y'all, cause some of y'all be questioning me like I'm lying. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, comb all up in there like this, okay? See the lace? There's the lace, okay? All up and around, okay? Listen, go ahead and uh, add this one to the list. Go, go ahead and do it right now. The holiday season is here and the deals are dropping. And guess what? No daddy papa, no sugar bay, no sneaky link. Put them to the side, okay? Because your coins are enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the little razzle dazzle I got with the earrings and the shirt and the glasses with the hair. It's a match. I like how it looks on me, y'all. I love the, y'all, oh, do y'all see the curls? And, and they're bouncy. I have told y'all in other videos, I like to use either the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse or the Nairobi Wrap Mousse, which is what I use in today's video. So if you want a lived in type of curl, get the Shea Moisture. If you want a more defined, clump together curl like this, get the Nairobi, okay? There you go. Either or is good for me though. I just restocked on both of them. I may do a little comparison video soon, okay? Versus, y y maybe, maybe. <laughs> now, I could move this down. I can't have this much of like hairline right here. It doesn't look really natural on me. So let me, let me pull that back some. There we go. Gotta close it up a little bit. There we go, there we go. This is a wig. This is a wig. This is a glueless wig. No talking for hours, no keys jangling, no 3 a.m. wake up calls. You don't gotta do none of that. You can get this one on your own, sis. Yes. But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to RPG Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for my unit down below so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.